Welcome to another edition of Let's Get Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Crystal Jordan, and welcome to a highly anticipated third, <laughs> third show, but it's highly anticipated because Tandi from Ready to Love is here. Hey, welcome, Tandi. Thank you for having me. You are more than welcome. You were requested over and over and wow. over again. Wow, <laughs> I'm flattered. You were demanding <laughs> to hear Tandi's side of the story. I appreciate that. People tuned in and, and record amounts and watched the first episode where I talked to Reva after we all watched the uh, reunion yes. sh show of Ready to Love, doing very, very well on own, extremely well yes. from all the views and tweets that we saw about the show. There was an upset. You wow. and Mario were together. We saw you guys during the entire season. Yeah. Really ha seemed to have a connection. You guys did seem a lot different, but yeah. you seemed to have a real connection. Mm -hmm. And then Reva self eliminated herself. You guys were moving towards dating and being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. The reunion comes back. Mario is with you, sitting down next to you, kind of being a little abrasive in some of the outtakes that a we heard. A little different there. Yeah, a little different. We yeah. could tell that, that was a, it, was, it was different because mm -hmm. you seemed shocked. Mm -hmm. And then the show abruptly, there was, there was an upset when he switched sides and said that he and Reva were now together. Reva came on the show and gave her side of the story. Yeah. YouTube went crazy <laughs> and demanded that we had you come and tell your side of the story. So I'm gonna give the floor to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, um, I, I do wanna say that I am so grateful. Mm -hmm. I've had a great support system, Team mm -hmm. Tandy. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, um, this has been, a, a, it's just indescribable. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just imagine that you're in a relationship with mm -hmm. somebody that, um, claims, well, I shouldn't say claims, but tells you how they feel about you. They mm -hmm. care about you. Mm -hmm. You're this, you're that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to protect you. And, yeah. And we then, saw him put the fake ring. My clay <laughs> ring. <laughs> the fake ring on the finger. It was cute, though. But it to me, cute. that was very symbolic. It was I mean, very cute. It was a no, date that we it. had. Yeah. I was very shocked when he did mm -hmm. that. And I was mm -hmm. impressed. Yeah. I mean, I was, you know, he wooed me. Mm -hmm. He really did. He seemed, not, I'm, I, and I told Mario this because he was here. He seemed the most genuine yeah. from what we could see as viewers on the show. That's as, the same you know, the way guy. that I felt. Mm -hmm. I mean, during, um, you know, on our journey, Mario was always honest. Mm -hmm. He was always a gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, it was just very shocking and heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, that's not who I knew. Mm -hmm. It was totally out of character. Wow. I've never seen that side of him. Until the reunion. Until the reunion. What happened with you and Mario once, because we saw you guys on a pier at the finale. Yeah. So after that, because we heard you guys went out of town, mm -hmm. what was the relationship like when the show ended? You know what? It was a, a, a normal relationship. <laughs> it was just like, you know, we decided after we, because uh, that was a commitment. That was mm -hmm. us making a commitment to one another. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. that was about. Mm -hmm. You had the option to choose each other mm -hmm. or choose yourself. Right. Okay, so Mario had all these chances mm -hmm. to to choose something different. Choose something different. Mm -hmm. Now, as they all know, on there, I'm myself. Right. I'm who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tandy. Right. And I'm not going to change that for anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe in compromise, conforming, all mm -hmm. of that. Whatever you know, that that's what a relationship entails. Absolutely. And I I told him I would do that. Mm -hmm. um, but let me ask you this, because we there was a scene where we were you were at his house. I think you were meeting his family. <laughs> yes. And and you kind of overheard them well they were sharing with you that he can be a little bit controlling and a little bit mm -hmm. um i guess rigid in the way he looks at at what women should do and yeah. not should do mm -hmm. what did you think at that point or had you started to see signs of that in you guys relationship you know what i am the type of person i'm going to i'm going to go by what how you treat me okay. you know somebody's villain in their situation might mm -hmm. not be my villain that's true that's very true you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Mario has never tried to control me. He's been in the nail salon with me. Mm -hmm. I pick whatever I want. He says, that's <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. um, the thing with the blue nails, mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't care about blue nail polish. 
mm -hmm. per se. He mm -hmm. just said, if it doesn't, uh, the color doesn't look good on you, I don't like that. Okay. Um, so he's never showed me a control inside. Okay. Um, so all of these things that people are saying, mm -hmm. I've never experienced. Okay. 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 You seem very outgoing. I am. He seems very he's laid razor, back. <laughs> razor <laughs> laid back. Do you think that that, because he said that he felt like you guys were just too different. Hmm. Do you feel like that's true? No, I feel like he bit off more than he could chew. Okay. 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 That, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, Mario likes fire. Mm -hmm. He likes a fiery woman. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, when it comes to playing in the fire, I don't know if he's, yeah. you know, up to that. Mm -hmm. um, he's attracted to a fiery woman. Mm -hmm. He's told me his ex-wife is a very, we have similar personalities. Well, right, right. Um, so, you know, I'm honestly saying, because they're not... The, the, the problems that we had in our relationship were just normal couple, mm -hmm. you know, problems. Yes, he's laid back. He's a homebody. Yes, I like to go out and have fun and have mm -hmm. my cocktails. And he's an occasional drinker. Okay. Um, however, you know, we, we still worked it out. He would mm -hmm. come out with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would stay home with him and cook. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would, we, I thought it was going fine. Now, how long were you guys doing, how long was the relationship moving in a positive way? For the <laughs> for the most part, we, we dated for three months. Wow. Um, so, you know, for the most part, like I said, and I'm trying to look at it from his eyes, mm -hmm. um, Mario is the type, he wants a woman that's ready-made. Yeah. Hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. That's in a, in a fantasy world. Right. You right. know, any type of relationship, you're going to have ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Kind of got to grow into each yeah, other. Yeah, right. peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. um, and one sign of SOS is like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, you know, and it was just like, okay, I'm not a lazy lover. When I mean lazy lover, I don't, I don't mean in the bed because right, I ain't right. lazy in the bed. <laughs> but I'm saying uh, some people don't want to work for right. relationships. They want it to be just right there, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. and, and, and that, that's, that's kind of unrealistic. Right, right. So, and he's told me I'm not, um, I'm very easy. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm very hard to please. I said, I wish you would have told me at the beginning because I'm not doing He said that he's hard to please. Yes, he did. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, he did. Okay. So that goes for anybody. Does right. It? It's going to be any situation. What was, we, well, we saw your response. <laughs> we saw your response at the reunion. What happened that caused you, what happened after that? And even, because he said that, that um, he apologized to you several times. There was, hmm. you know, what, what, what happened after what we saw? So after the reunion, of course, I'm in shock. Mm -hmm. I'm still in shock. I mean, yeah. I'm hurt. Right. I'm humiliated. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, so immediately after the reunion, he was standing around me, and he come up to me and tried to hug me. I said, <laughs> get the F away from me. Right. I said, get the F away from me. Right. He says, you don't understand. Let me, I need to talk to you, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, talk about what? Mm -hmm. What you did, I just... I just can't forgive you. Right. I, I don't even want to talk to you. I was so hurt. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I'm very proud of myself on that reunion. <laughs> okay, I will say that um, because anybody who knows me yeah. knows it could have went a whole different way. <laughs> That's for real. Okay. Um, so, but he, he wanted to speak with me. And um, so we did speak with a producer. Mm -hmm. um, that was also present. Okay. And, um, like a mediator to yes. make sure nothing went yes. crazy. <laughs> okay. And so he, he, was, he, he was apologizing. He said that was totally out of his character. Mm -hmm. uh, he did also mention producers. Mm. Um, but he also acknowledged the fact that he didn't have to do that. Right, right. He said, I could have said no. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. So when I'm hearing all of this talk about producers did this, producers said that, mm -hmm. you have the option. They can't tell us what to say. Or do. Right. Especially what you guys have been in this. A full relationship for three a months. A full-fledged, uh, committed, mm -hmm. exclusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Families wow. involved, children. Wow. He's moved my daughter in her college, uh, her on-campus apartment. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, he comes to the house, fix things. I mean, right. it was a normal, right. you know, relationship. And we were together the, all the time. One of the things you said was, are you going to do that in front of you? Are you going to show that example to your daughter? So you, so you guys had actually started to... Oh, yes. And mm -hmm. I said that because, first of all, you're around my daughter. Mm -hmm. And second of all, that's one thing that we really have in common. We're so big on our daughters, mm -hmm. our children. Mm -hmm. And I was in shock that this man that I felt I knew 
would do, you know, show that example right. to his daughters. He right. has three daughters. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go on national TV and show your it's daughters such. that you just adore and love. Right. That this is what a man should do to mm -hmm. somebody that he cares about or loves. Right. No, not a good example. And you're mm -hmm. showing my daughter who you, I mean, it, yeah. it was just, I'm big on, on, that's my priority. That is a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Especially for you to introduce them and you're, that, that is a lot. Now, yeah. you mentioned your daughter and, and that was another big thing. This whole, this whole, I guess, triangle had issues from the beginning because there was the conversation about what is friendship, what is not friendship, <laughs> who is an associate, oh, who's gosh. not an associate. So I'm going to just let you speak to that. People hmm. wanted to know what is your definition? Because one of the yeah. things I told Reva is maybe you guys define friendship differently. Yes, yes, right? yes. Okay. Well, you know, what she said friendship is, I can agree with her. Okay. But I didn't say she was my damn BFF. <laughs> right. I didn't say that. You're not right. my BFF. But the interaction that we have mm -hmm. requires boundaries, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So me personally, and my mother always says, she said, Tandy, I didn't raise everybody. Mm -hmm. So you can get highly disappointed. You keep thinking everybody's going to move like how you move mm -hmm. and think like how you think. And mm -hmm. um, she's right about that. So that's a <laughs> lesson learned, mama. <laughs> um, however, Reva, she has contacted me to travel. She's contacting me to get our daughters together. Mm -hmm. She's contacting me to hang out. Mm -hmm. And so when I hear her saying, I never contacted her. Mm -hmm. She said she never contacted you. Oh, it was always I, through a mutual oh, friend. Oh, our mutual friend. Oh, OK. Well, my texts say otherwise. OK. And we can show all we of will, that. <laughs> we can show all of that. Mm -hmm. And what I was just trying to say is, when you're in the same social circle, mm -hmm. you don't try to hop on the penis that your social circle friend was on. Don't right. do that. Right. It's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's the moral compass is off with that. Mm -hmm. I would never do that. Right. It's about you know, and I feel like loyalty is so vintage these days. Mm -hmm. People never compromise your loyalty for opportunity. Right. Now I will ask you this: just playing devil's advocate, yeah. you guys are on a show. It's a dating show, uh -huh. and you know that the other women on the show, ten women dating ten men. Yes. So did you feel like? This situation is a little bit different mm -hmm. than if we hang out in Atlanta mm -hmm. and you meet a guy. But we're actually on here to date these 10 guys. Yeah. And, and they're on here to date these. And, I, and, and she mentioned that you had dated some other people. And she like, people kind of knew of each other. So is that, do you think that was a little bit different than the average situation? Or maybe mm -hmm. that's why this happened? I know what you're saying. This is definitely a very unorthodox mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. of dating. We right. all um, signed up to put ourselves in this bubble. Right. And you get to see what everybody yeah, else is doing. Yeah, everybody else is doing. Right. Um, I wouldn't have a big problem if Mario didn't tell her out of his mouth, if the journey ended today, Tandy would be who I pick. Mm -hmm. And he's told her that quite often. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And this is a familiar ground because she's done this before. See, we, now we talked about that. She said that... You guys, first of all, weren't friends. The, per the mutual person said to her, the mutual friend <laughs> said to her, did you know that they're dating? But and it wasn't that's true. A big she deal. did mention it to her first. Okay. Okay. She's, but then you guys had a conversation. Because the mutual about friend it. brought it to my attention. I didn't know gotcha. that she was putting heart eyes and mm -hmm. hearts and all that under my ex's pictures until my, our mutual friend brought up to me. Okay. okay. And she stated to me, she said, well, I mentioned to Reva, mm -hmm. hey, you know, that's Tandy's guy. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're all, you know, we hang out every now and again. Mm -hmm. She was like, just, you know, yeah, lay off just, of yeah, that. Yeah. She still didn't lay off of it. So okay. that's what she refused to say. <laughs> okay. okay. She said that she, the guy slid in her DMs first. And, it, and, and guess what? He probably did. Okay. But now that you know, your loyalty right. is to me it's if we're true. hanging out. That's right. all I'm saying. Right. He probably did. I'm not, I don't put mm -hmm. anything past Pass any guy. man. Right. <laughs> right. True. And so she still didn't immediately unfollow. She claimed I didn't say anything to her. We were at an outing that our mutual friend had. It's our mutual friend. And mm -hmm. um, I did say something, not, com you know, confrontational. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about and she ended up unfollowing him after that okay now she did and that was that yeah it wasn't a big deal but I will say I it was still a long handle spoon with yeah that, that kind of lets you know this is a situation okay yeah and I, and I said something to our mutual friend I have those texts too but I don't <laughs> want to put her too much in it right um, but I said something I said something a little different with her mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. so I'll we can hang if we all want to go out or whatever but 
you know, just a right. long handle spoon with her. Right. Did you guys go out of the country together or she was... Tr she, she invited me and um, not trying to be funny, but it was a thought trip. It was basically, <laughs> you know, she said it was going to be me, her, and some other girls that I didn't know. Our mm -hmm. mutual friend wasn't involved in that at all. She okay. hit me up herself. Oh, Our mutual okay. friend had a man. She wasn't going on a trip like that. She oh, said so it was, it was singles, ladies. Yeah, because she said it was some football players. Oh, okay. Yeah, and okay. I have the text. And, <laughs> I mean, I have it all. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to show them. Okay. Um, she said it was some football players, and it was going to be me, her, and I think it was a couple of the girls or mm -hmm. something of that nature, and I'm not going on a fat trip like that. Right, So right. I declined. Okay. Now, yeah. did Mario see that text? I've showed them all. I've showed Mario everything I got, and what he said was, he said, well, I've seen Reba's text as well, and it looked like she deleted some stuff. Mm -hmm. He said, you have a lot more than what she has. He said, but in her defense, mm -hmm. he said, maybe her phone deletes automatically, you know, <laughs> something of that nature. Right, okay. So, but okay. He's, he's seen everything. He's heard her. I mean, on the phone, he had me call her one time. She was talking down on him. Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot, honey. Not we like can sit and chat all night. <laughs> Not like the three-way that Alexis. We went on the three-way. I called her because she, okay. she she warned me. Right, and she, why did she? What was she warning you about Mario for? She said he was. She don't think he's been all the way honest. Mm -hmm. We were um, at the table with Tommy. She mm -hmm. texted me under the table while we were about to uh, eliminate the men. Oh, okay. So I don't so know. She if was she trying was to trying get to... you to. Eliminate Mario, maybe. Um, like that was very random. Right. So right. maybe she was, but mm -hmm. she just said, "Be careful of Mario." Okay. And I didn't respond, and I ended up calling her after the wine bar. But Mario, uh, we had met up after that, mm -hmm. and um, I told him, I said, "So I got a warning text about you." Mm -hmm. He said, mm -hmm. "From who?" And I said, "From Reba." And he said, "Really?" And I said, "I said she wants me to call her, but I was telling her we were coming out having, you mm -hmm. know, some wine or whatever." Mm -hmm. And he said, call her. I want to hear it. And he heard everything. And she was talking down on him. And mm. so, what was she saying? Uh, she was basically like, I just want to let you know that, you know, he, he hasn't been completely honest with me. And you need to watch him. I mean, mm. he's lied about this. I caught him up on this, caught him in lies. And I was just like, okay, just saying, hey, okay, I'm listening. And he heard the whole thing. He's getting mm -hmm. heated. Right. He's right. getting heated. And he was like, she's lying. You know, she's just mad because I'm not talking to her like that and I'm mm -hmm. choosing you over her. Mm -hmm. This is what he's saying. Right. He's heard it all. Wow. So, you know, this is this is some messy, messy stuff. Wow. Now it's very messy. That is very messy. Cause I almost wonder like is is it him that is the problem? Because Mario no, he could put out <clears throat> this fire if he wants to. Mm-hmm. Well you speaking know. of the fire, I see your Instagram. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> there is hearts under your pictures it's, no it's tons licking out tons it was tons licking out. what is that when did that happen so that was i posted that post on november 7th mm -hmm. um he came in the dm and he did some uh, tongue emojis like and to <laughs> us to him and i i know what that means right 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 you right. know and um, <laughs> I think everybody knows what that means but at this time i thought he was supposed to be with reva she's right. claiming they've been together since september right after you guys split up I guess what she said. We was split like, up around the, almost the end of September, and they were on a trip together. They were on a trip, and I asked them about the trip. There seems to be some overlappage. <laughs> overlapping. That timeline, huh? the timeline, a little sketchy. Right, right, little, right. Little, little sketchy there. So he's still talking. He's still reaching out on Instagram, putting hearts under your. Pet. We have never stopped communicating. If you're just tuning in, this is Crystal Jordan with Let's Get Crystal Clear. We're about to get Crystal Clear all up in these receipts. Yes, ma'am. Now you and Mario broke up around the end of September, September. right? Mm -hmm. Now, according to the reunion, he and Reva got together a couple of days later. <laughs> days later. Now, Easy breezy. Now, 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 you guys have been, been dating exclusively for three months. Yes. Break up. He says, did he call you and break up with you? Did he talk to you and break uh, up? Yes, with we you? did have a phone conversation. Okay. Um, and initially, the way that he was trying to do the breakup it just didn't come across right so i didn't know mm -hmm. so i called him the next day and i was just talking normal couple talk and mm -hmm. he's just kind of like no time remember what we talked about yesterday mm -hmm. you know this is a and i was like oh okay you didn't say that so right. we were going back and forth with that um so that was that, that, was that. so uh, i accepted it i said okay this is a hard pill to swallow um had to sit on it i mean mm -hmm. you know how you you know you're going through a breakup mm -hmm. 
and um, we still would talk. I mean, he never would lose contact with me. Now, according to the text, according to the Instagram post, we see that you guys are still, he's still communicating <laughs> with you. Is that? We have never stopped communicating. Never. Um, because after the reunion, he was apologizing profusely, mm -hmm. and he expressed to me that he felt like he felt so bad. Like right. he did express right. that he's remorseful. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I could have did this another way. Okay. Why did I, you know, not follow my heart? I mean, follow what I wanted to do. I mean, just a lot of things. So, you know, I felt like him still contacting me initially. Yeah, I need Tandy my support for right. my support. Right. Um, I don't want her not to be friends with me. Right. And okay. his big thing was me forgiving him. And I said, uh, right now, I don't forgive you. Just mm -hmm. give me some time, you know. Um, so, like I said, we never lost contact, and um, I had spoken to him. I said, "Well, you know, Jenny Wine's in town. My girls and I are going to go out and hang are you out." Are, that's your ex, correct? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's your ex. I, okay. Yes. Uh huh. And so <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, "Oh, that's cool. That's fine." Mm -hmm. But it was another story because when it came to him, he was calling some of our castmates. Why would she post her hanging out with him? So on he was upset social about social media. Mm -hmm. But I later found out he said out of his mouth to me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was in my feelings. Mm -hmm. He said I didn't like that. Um, and just basically saying that's what pushed him to call Reva. Wow. Wow. Yes. Okay. That's what he said. He said that pushed me. He said, you pushed me away. I'm like, really? And he said that's what really made him call her. Okay, and she has a very uh, R and B icon ex boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, that you know would be I, yeah, but you did. But he knew that. He knew. He knew. I'm an open book. I've, I've told him, and he knows a lot. Mm -hmm. He knows everything about me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about so you so you guys are friends now? Where are we at now with you and Mario? <laughs> um, yeah, you're cool. Well, well, as of right now, I told him about almost two weeks ago we should not communicate anymore. So you guys were still talking? We were talking the whole time. I would see him. He's been to my house. He's, yes. What do you mean he's been to your house? <laughs> what are you talking about? Ooh, he's been to your house. house. <laughs> Tandy, what is he doing at your house? Let me explain this. Um, during the course of uh, Ready to Love, you know, when it comes on every Saturday, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Mari and I, you know, our whole relationship from beginning to end mm -hmm. has been documented, and we have to watch this and relive this mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. What is he doing at your house? <laughs> oh, he's trying to get to the hey, huh? Back to why is he at the house? And he's with Reva. Well, he told me he was single and he's just dating her. This is his words. He said he's not When did he say that? He just told me I had to pull it out of him two week, almost two weeks ago that he's committed or in a relationship with her. Before two weeks from today, mm -hmm. he said, I am single, I'm not in a committed relationship, I am dating her, we're dating, mm -hmm. we're seeing each other. But two weeks, because they were, I, I interviewed her a week ago, mm -hmm. and they were here, mm -hmm. and they had been together, mm -hmm. they're in love. In love? No, he don't tell me that. She she said that. I he didn't he didn't say that. I that know goes he on didn't her say words. It, but yeah. So you guys were still have still been seeing each other. Y'all still been. What is he doing? We at the talk. House? We talk Tandy. on the phone. We FaceTime. Um, support each other after the episodes mainly. Like we'll talk and say, you know, sometimes you will call and say, man, that was hard to watch. You know, I just wanted to check on you. Okay, so the so the the tongue underneath the picture. This <laughs> happens while they were they have yes. been together. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's get under the picture, they're pulling up to the house, all that. Pulling up to the house yes. after they're together? Do you think she knows that? Yeah. Well, no. she going to know today. Mm, oh, well, that's <laughs> for them today. To that's for them to deal with. But, um, you know, yeah. Or so 14 minutes away from my house. <laughs> I'm not going to play these games with Tandy. I have asked her three times, Hey, what is Mario doing at her <laughs> house? She has not responded to the question. Tandy. Yes. Okay. You've been with somebody for three months. They pull up at the house. Are these completely platonic you know visits? <laughs> well, you know, let me say this. We, 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 I am, we like to talk face to face sometimes. <laughs> but 
I'm gonna ask you why? Why would you? Let me after, say this. Okay. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Let me. We're we're all adults. We are. Okay. Um, let it rip. Let it rip. <laughs> we're not over there playing Uno. Okay. All right. Tandy. Okay. All right. Come on now, let, let, Tandy. <laughs> So you and Things Mario, happen, lady. you and Mario have 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 been more than friends since he since since the reunion. I was physically more than friends. Um, things have gotten physical. Yes. Okay, why would you allow him yeah. to go there after he did? Because because the entire country watching on was hurt <laughs> for you. Seeing him, yeah, do that—that that was it. that was messed up. I don't think it was his character, but it it was. We really felt like, man, that is messed up for him to just do that. Do that. So what? So how do you get to the point where you're cool with him uh -huh. to that extent? Well, that gradually happened. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we would talk often and just talk mm -hmm. or FaceTime and just try to hash things. We did meet up one time at the park and try to get closure on our relationship because we didn't have the proper closure. I mean, it was kind of just like so abrupt. Right, right. So we wanted closure, and I okay. feel like closure should be face to face. Okay. So we met at the park. Met at the park. I didn't don't come to my house. I'm not gonna come to your house. Okay, but then they, they got to the house later. Well, later on down the line, because we were still always talking and mm -hmm. FaceTimes and things like that. And mm -hmm. let's let's keep it real. You know what I mean? Um, we weren't broken up that long. Right. Well, no, you know, no, a we few days. We weren't broken up that long. It was a few days. And so that's a lesson to the ladies. Don't be the rebound. Um, if you know a man just broke up yeah. with a woman, you know, a couple days ago, you can got it like that, that he's just going to net, uh, he's not going to work his way back over. Way back over there. So do you, still, you obviously still have feelings for him. Yeah, and he says the same thing. So we're right he back at the We're He says the same thing. He says, well, I still have feelings for you. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course we do. I mean, we, this is, what is, it hasn't been that long. Right. I mean, like I said, it was so abrupt. Right. So, like I said, I don't know what, what Reba was thinking, thinking, okay, he's just going to come and be with me. That's, mm -hmm. that doesn't work that way. You're right. in case of emergency lady. He <laughs> broke the glass, broke the glass, <laughs> okay? And then that's that. But he's still uh, sniffing around his ex's door. And right. And that's just how it goes. But that's, that's normal. Usually things don't, Clean breaks are not made. They're not. Clean breaks are not made. You, but, but where and I'm not saying that's a proud moment for me okay. that things have gotten physical with us. Okay? Okay. I'm just saying it's, it's, it was a, a comfort thing. It's a yeah. comfort for both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it is what it is, and I'm, I'm just going to put it out we there. Just put it out on. there. Put, okay, all right. One of the things I asked, I asked Reva about, because I want to get back to the receipts, right? Mm -hmm. I asked her about her quote on the reunion of her saying the best woman won. Yeah. I felt like that was a competition between mm -hmm. the Single two, black female again. The two, the two of you guys and her saying that, that she felt like you lied on her <laughs> when she watched the show. And I was trying to figure out where are the lies. So the lies from yeah. on her perspective, at least from my interview, and I'm trying to you know quote this correctly, but she felt like you guys were not friends. Mm -hmm. There was not communication between the two of you guys. Mm -hmm. Two of you, the communication was with a mutual friend. Right. You guys did not talk. You're saying that you have proof mm -hmm. that that's not the case. Oh, yeah, I have text messages. And the text messages that I can present are always her reaching out to me. Well, let's see the text messages. Yeah, we let's got them. Let's pull out the text messages. You can, you can read them out. Let's to the receipts, you shall can, we? <laughs> yes, we sure can. And you can read the dates. Okay. Um, you know, this is, you know. Okay, all right. So, and it, it's... It's not a whole, 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 whole lot, but yeah. it's enough. It can support that I'm telling you she's not being Well, what is this? This is March 12, 2017. This is a video. This is from her. That's from her that she sent to me. We were hanging out, um, and you can hear her voice in it. I so mean, this is you dancing. This is me dancing. <laughs> so she was behind Listen you. To her. That, that is that is Reva taping you girls yeah. hanging out and okay March all right 12, 2000 March 2017 uh -huh. so. April 5th 2017 what are you doing for Memorial Day 25th through the 30th and then you say no plans yet doll what's up oh this is when she invited you to go out of, out of, the, out of the country your associate she says going to St. Martin Anguilla and St. Bart's too much to text give me a call when you get a moment you say, okay, but what's the cost? 
She says, my airline ticket was $630 round trip. My homeboy got villas. If we share a room, it's like $540. If you get your own room, it's $1080. I'm reading this actual text. What's the date? The text, the, the date that this started was April 5th, 2017. And she reaches out and says, what are you doing for Memorial Day? Right. That definitely feels like a friend. I wouldn't, I, I, that's. Oh, come That's on, a friend. Now, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So my homeboy had a room. I told him to hold two rooms for me. It's three of us going. He has 25 of his friends coming. Five women trip. and men. I'm not doing So it should be excited. So it should be exciting. I'm, it should be interesting. I'm excited. Do you know George Wilson? He played ball. <laughs> and you say nice, but I don't. I don't. That sounds like a great time. And then you say you do know him. Yes, it should be fun, gonna get a, a Bowden Island hop. I've always wanted to go to Anguilla, so when we were at the range the other day, he invited me, I got my airline ticket, I'm ready to go. Oh, so that's a man and she paid for it? This is hit, and then mm. she's, okay. <laughs> wow, getting ready she to call. She sent you a collage, didn't she? She sent a picture of the guy, he is fine as hell, I do know him. <laughs> but he it's a picture fine. collage. It is a picture collage, mm. and she says this is, so then another, she says getting ready to call it a night, hon, Another text message. This, and you can tell who's texting because you know when you have an iPhone, your texts are in blue, yeah. the other person's in gray. Hey babe, were you interested before I fill this other room? That's April 6th. You say, go ahead dog, got a lot of my play at this moment, but that's gonna be a blast. Okay, Well. all right. We got some more. April 7th. Okay, what do I have, uh, what idea do I have for a mommy daughter day? Okay, well, where was the brunch at she's talked about? Mommy daughter day, yeah. I don't hear a brunch. And then you say, hey, I haven't even thought about it. I'm sure we can find something fun and thrifty to do. She says, okay, you want to shoot for Saturday. The, the, texts, the texts are very friendly. That's not, some, that's not an associate text because first of all, you don't talk to an associate. You don't share a room yeah. on a trip to Anguilla with an associate. <laughs> We're grown women, we don't, we don't share we don't rooms. We do that. With, yeah, this, this is, this is, I mean, this is texting back and forth, April, then it goes to April, April 8th, then it goes to April 2nd, 2018. I just really wanted to touch on that mommy daughter because she keeps saying a brunch. She's yeah. never mentioned a brunch. She asked me my idea. She did. Um, it says, what idea do you have for a mommy daughter day? Something cheap because she's all up in my pockets. I wish the cons, okay. We also have the warning text. I mean, we have it all. Oh my goodness. Oh, my meeting is canceled today. So this is, hey lady, this, these are very friendly texts. I really wish, I know you're going to the show tonight, boo. I'll probably she's see you there. I'm ex. kind of excited. Oh, she's going to the genuine she show. She had a show here that I was, of course, at at the time because I was with him, but. So she, so the first thing is she texts and says, I know you're going to the show tonight. I'll probably see you there. I'm kind of excited, my kind of music. Hey doll, yes, I'll be there and we're doing an after party. Yes, ma'am, I'm sure I'll be there too. Okay, cool. Then she hits you on May 18th. Where are you at tonight, boo? Meet me at Silva's. Clinton was like, ain't none Another of our girls player. there. And I thought of you because I know you're, you're out. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you said Mario has seen this. He's seen them all. July 27, 2018. Excuse me, your hair is blocking my view. Thought of you she, with, a, with heart. She sent me a meme that post. About you because you have hair. the big hair. So you thought of me? Oh, my no, gosh. Me? Hey, love, hope you're having a good day. See you soon. This is again from Reva. Hey, doll, see you soon. And there's pictures of all of you guys together. Just glad we could be happy. Last night was intense. So these are, these are texts about the show. July 23rd, be careful with Mario. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to talk to you about your last text. What's up? This is from you. Didn't get a chance to talk to you about your last text. What's up? I'm in a loud spot. She says, oh yeah, I forgot you were going out. I hate texting a lot, but the bottom line is I've known you for several years now and I've learned Mario hasn't been honest about a lot. So that was my heads up to you, but you seem like you're already aware. Nothing deep, just want you to be careful. Gotcha dog, gonna call you tomorrow for sure. And she says, okay, babe, enjoy your night. Please keep what we talked about between us. And Mario and I called her, he was with me when I called her. And he heard it all. He heard it all. And she was talking very bad about him. I'm just, I'm not going to lie. I'm in shock because she told me she had receipts, but I did not expect the receipts to be like that. I didn't expect her to be talking to you in such a, like, that's like me and my girlfriend talking back and forth. Yeah. 
hey, what are you doing for Memorial exactly. Day? Exactly. So I don't have a reason to lie about <sighs> anybody's friendship, you know? Right, I, I right. I felt like but that type of interaction requires boundaries, like I said. I mean, right. um, why would you want to date somebody that is telling you he's failing me? Right. Why would you want to have that competition? Mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. if it was opposite and Mario told me, hey, Reva, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, hey, Tandy. Right. Uh, I'm into I'm feeling I'm, Reva. Right. I would pick her today if it ended. Right. Which is what he told her. Right. So wow. I'm like, I would fall back. That's what I was right. telling her at the cabin. Like, okay, well, I'm not going to compete with my, my, who I feel is my girl. Right. You well, know? who I, obviously she felt that way to ask you to go to the, on the yeah. trip. Uh, every, my daughter, <laughs> our daughters, I didn't hear anything about a brunch. She's never yeah, mentioned. She said, mommy, daughter day. Yeah. What, what ideas do you have? Let's do something. She asked me, to, do I know a spot? But it was, it was presented like it was something that was set up. Okay. No, and you didn't see anything about our mutual friend. I did not see anything. I don't even see a name of anybody else besides yeah. the football player. Who is fine? <laughs> By the way. By the way. Okay, so Tandy, what, 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 what now? What now? What, what are you doing now? Like, are you... Are you still open to Mario? I hate the fact that he seems to be able to go back and forth. I, get I think what that's you're unfair. Saying, and that's, but I mean, yeah. but that's also realistic in life when you have feelings for somebody. But where are you at yeah. with that situation? As right of right now? now, like I said, I told him almost two weeks ago when he finally told me that he's in a relationship with mm -hmm. um, me. But I said, well, I don't think we should be communicating anymore because before then he was just saying he was single. I can do what I want to do. Right, right. Um, I'm not committed to anyone. I'm just seeing her. Mm. Those are his words. Mm -hmm. Seeing, dating, those are the words he would use. Wow. And so once I had to pull it out of him because I called him in a couple of lies. Mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me, I said, I heard you went to church today with um, Reva. And I mm -hmm. said, you haven't been to church in forever. You mm -hmm. know, what's going mm -hmm. on? And he's like, oh, she didn't go with me. You know, he was like, and then he said he went to the movies by himself and, <laughs> you know, people were coming. He's just having a hard time. He just, he, he couldn't keep up with him. He just, he just obviously cares for both of you guys and is just and not possible. sure what to do. And he do. said that to me before. He said, it's possible for a man to love two women. He said, I still have feelings for you. You know that. And, mm -hmm. you know, he expresses that a lot. Right. Um, so now I've cut the communication off. We don't want him to come by the house anymore, Tandy. No, he can't pop up over there. Okay, anymore. we don't want He's not coming over anymore. <laughs> You want Mario but to stay away Like from I now. said, it's happened. And, you know, I just want to put it behind me now. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Look, let it rip. R.I.P. Rest in peace to this toxic situation. Right, right. But I'm, I'm glad that you did not go to a bad, to a, to a negative place. I talked to Reva about the fact that it's, as black women, we have got to treat each other better. I totally right? agree. And we have to. You did bring your receipts. That That's, that's, a, that's, that's the best way to handle it <laughs> by just saying this is what I have. This is what it is. So that, hey, you that, gotta show and prove. You show know and prove. I mean? Yeah, and just keep it moving. And keep it moving. I, trust me, you guys. Tiny will be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a big lesson for me. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing in every lesson. Yeah. And yeah. you know, so I'm just really, um, I'm just over it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm checking out of that. Checking out of that. that Let situation. it. We're just gonna put it to bed. Just put it to bed. R.I.P. Any, oh. any, any, any hope of you and your ex getting back together? Oh, Lord. You know, <laughs> I, I do speak with him, but, yeah. you know, if it happens, that would be a gradual thing. You know, yeah. we still have to get on the same page. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to revisit why we're not together. And it right. wasn't a bad thing. He's always, I'm always going to be cool with him. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, we're, we're in different workspaces and mm -hmm. he's traveling, and, traveling and, doing... and I'm moving. So it's just mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, we just got to get. See, why? See so, what's next? Right. I'm open. My heart has not been hardened. Right. That's a know? beautiful and, thing. Um, Obviously, for you to still be able to be cool with Mario after that, I got to I gotta just commend you. Well, we needed each other. I, I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah. We, that's, we, need, we, we need each other's support. Yeah. And that's the main thing. We really want. But for you to be able to see through that when he didn't treat you like mm -hmm. his support, because he did not treat you that way at the mm -hmm. reunion. Well, he said out of his mouth, he said, hey, Tandy, that says a lot about you that you can even still talk to me. Mm -hmm. He it said, does. I do appreciate that. Yeah. Mario's not a bad guy. Yeah. No, he's not a bad guy. He's a confused guy. But he's not, <laughs> a lot of confusion not, going around in these streets. What's next for Tandy? So right now I have a few, you know, I'm in theater. Mm -hmm. So we, And you sing. I you sing. sing. I sing. Mm -hmm. Just a few scripts in my face and okay. then I'm trying to decide what's what, because theater season is mm -hmm. coming up now so. okay uh, and I do a lot of travel in theater because mm -hmm. so. that's the show that we remember you from the they were put you guys are working on a, a play oh, with, your husband with, is cheating yes 
Yeah, yes. that's where I rekindle with my with with, with you. your ex. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you know, well, we wish you much success. Oh, you Please so keep much. us it's posted. You have my information. Keep us posted as you move forward and do other things. And hopefully, this will be a lesson. What would what lesson would you say you learned from this? I like what you said. Your mother said about everybody's not like you. Yeah. So if you expect people to be like you, you will get your heart broken. But that's what, a huge lesson. What actually. else did you my learn? My mother from is always said that, but. You know, honestly, just follow your gut. Mm, mm -hmm. That is the main thing. Follow your gut. When mm -hmm. I was feeling those little things, something's wrong, something's off, and you're trying to overlook it, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I would never do that again. Did you feel little warnings with Mario? You know what? Towards the end of our relationship, mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. And I would say things to him, and I think it kind of, you know, he got taken aback by that. Mm -hmm. um, because when we were breaking up and I felt like he wasn't really trying to work on our relationship. Yeah. Um, you called him out about that on the reunion. You said uh -huh. you said that you said that you were about trying to work on things and Something at the was first. Going on because yeah. up until the day of the reunion, I mean, I talked to him the day before. He was telling me he was getting his suit tailored. I'm and so sick of this foolish. <laughs> Are y'all sick of Mario and, <laughs> and Tommy and Reva's suit, foolishness? Suit tailored. I mean, he had plenty of time to tell me what was yeah. about to happen. Well, it's obvious because you weren't up to him and he said you look nice. My loss. <laughs> Okay. Bless his heart. Okay. <laughs> Follow your gut, ladies. Follow your gut. Follow your gut and don't be a in case of emergency backup plan. It never works. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know you guys are going to have a lot to say. Let people know where they can follow you because I know they already follow them, but if you're not following Miss Tandy, where can they follow you at? So you can follow me on Instagram. I live for Tandy. I L I V number four, Tandy, T O N D Y. Mm -hmm. And it's actually that all across the board on my okay. Twitter. Uh, well, Facebook is Tandy Gallant. So, okay. hey. Bye. Last question now, because I, I had Brent here earlier and I asked him, was there anybody else he was feeling on the show? Anybody else that if you could look back, you would have <laughs> spent some more time with on the show? Oh, it would have been Brent. Oh, wow. Okay. We may be able to work that out. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I love my Lexus. So. Oh, so see, just so you don't want to go back and no, you don't want to be a... Brent was my second choice. Wow. Okay. Um, but he just was so mysterious and FBI-ish. <laughs> <laughs> like, you work for the gut? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what is Brent's last name? He, he was so mysterious and I think his, that, that was what appealed to him. Yeah, it's attractive to him. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, so, you know, but he's a great guy. He seems like a very nice he guy. He really is. So other than that, I... Yeah, Mario okay. was pretty much the only one. Okay, well, we appreciate you coming by Thank and being so honest. Absolutely beautiful, joy to talk to. <laughs> I wish you much success. We'll keep in touch. And thank you guys for tuning in. I can't wait to see what you guys think about this interview. And I will see you next time on Let's Get Crystal Clear.